I thought I'd do a video comparing Power BI and Tableau because I kind of get asked this a lot. Um, and the question is, which one is better? Uh, it, there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, and it depends on kind of what lens you're looking at this through. So for example, how big is your team? You know, is this an enterprise thing? Is it just for you as an individual? You know, what are you trying to do? How complicated is your data? All that kind of comes into play, right? So the lens I'm going to look at it from is you have a team, right? Of let's say 10 or 20 people, right? Um, the skill set for the people is let's say average or below average when it comes to data analytics, okay? So what does that mean? Intermediate level Excel. So if you've never really done business intelligence tools before, so that's kind of my experience in the industry. I meet a lot of people who they've just been using Excel a really long time and pivot tables is kind of like, yeah, they can kind of do them. So, so then it's which tool is better? In my experience, Tableau is just far superior, but it does come with a much bigger price tag. So monthly in terms of uh, using the tool, it's $70 a month compared to Tableau, uh, compared to Power BI, which is $13. IT, um, divisions in most companies will only look at this price. So they go, we got a hundred people, therefore it's, you know, $7,000 a month here. It's going to be 30, uh, 1,370 a month. Right. And you're like, well, just go with the cheaper option. But does that actually mean it's cheaper? Right. And this is the thing that I'm trying to teach people on is that just because it's cheaper on the at face value doesn't mean it's actually cheaper. So let's go through an example. Right. I'll get my drawing tool. Let's say this is this is time, right? Let's say this, this line is time. To get the data, to clean it, well, maybe not to clean, to get the data, visualize it, and deploy it, right, takes a certain amount of time. So let's say for Tableau, uh, maybe we'll start with Power BI, it's not as intuitive, right? So there's a bit of a learning curve. So it's actually harder to teach people and when you're teaching people who aren't data people, which is what BI really is kind of for, it's for everybody. Um, as soon as you start hitting some obstacles and that things are difficult or frustrating, they can just quit. And that's kind of the experience I've had where when things are too difficult at the beginning, they'll just quit because you know what? It's so easy to go back to Excel. People are just like, you know what? Excel was already doing my job. It was already solving my problems. I'm just, I'm not going to touch it. So the entry needs to be smooth, right? And Tableau really helps with that because it's so easy to use. All right. So let's look at the full life cycle. So training, right, for Power BI is longer. So let's say this is training T, right? And then you've got the actual designing stage. Right? The designing stage takes a little bit longer because it's a lot more fidgety. It's not as straightforward. It's not as smooth. So it takes a little bit longer. right? And then you've got finally your publishing and you know cleaning up. So it takes about that long to finally get your visualization out there. Okay, With Tableau, it's significantly less because what happens is the training is a lot shorter. right? I've been able to get people up and running in under an hour. And that's average users because it's drag and drop. Everything's kind of where it should be. Um, the joins make sense. People can really kind of get into it pretty easily. And from what I'm also told is a lot of the online content, there's a lot of stuff available for Tableau in terms of videos and training and all that. Plus their forums are signif significantly better. What I hear from Power BI users is that it's a lot harder to get questions um, answered. The farms are a little bit harder. That's just from what I'm hearing, right? Um, also, when it comes to creation, Tableau is a lot shorter, right? It doesn't take as long to create. So you can publish things a lot faster. So maybe, you know, let's say it's, let's say it's about half, but from what I'm hearing, it's about a quarter, right? 20% of how long it would take in Power BI. And this is based on testing that we did between the two tools, right? Pretty significant testing. It's a fraction of the time. So in terms of cost, it costs $70 to get things faster and $13 to get things longer. You have to look at that whole picture because training costs money, development time costs money, right? Deployment takes money, right? If training someone takes weeks rather than hours, that's a lot of money. Multiply that out by an entire enterprise, a corporation, 
That's a lot of money that is not visible in these prices. You, you don't see that here. And if you're not an experienced analyst or designer, um, you simply won't know that that part exists. Okay, so $70 so that you have very easy use. Some of the comparisons I've seen is that Tableau is about 20% yeah, faster to train and deploy and all that. So for me, $70 makes sense. The other thing you have to look at is this $70 by 12 is roughly a thousand bucks, I think. Well, how good is my math? All right, so 70 by 12, where's my calculator? I think I'm in drawing tool. Yep, so 70 by 12, all right? It's about a thousand bucks, that's US dollar, right? But because you can design and develop and deploy and train people much faster, your return on investment also comes a lot faster. So by having this tool, you've automated certain procedures, you've been able to get answers quicker, you've been able to take action on those answers quicker, which means you have higher revenues later down the stream. The thing with business intelligence tools, you don't necessarily see the return immediately after publishing a visualization. Usually what happens is it, it prompts a change in process, right? a change in how we do things, how we operate, how we interact with customers, which will then relate to sales down the line. The faster you can do it at the early stages, the quicker you have the information to take action, which then results in higher sales, right? So it's kind of that full picture of which is better. So personally, I endorse Tableau. Power BI, personally, I hate it. I've tried to use it. I've tried to get people onto it. It's just too fidgety and not worth saving $50 a month. It's just not worth it to put my people through that much frustration of having to go back and make things work and you know it's just not worth the fifty dollars that fifty dollars i'd much rather invest that into this tool and get my answers quicker get my people trained up also moving into the future i think tableau is going to be um, the biggest player in terms of business intelligence it kind of already is right if you look at the the Gartner Quadrant and all that. Tableau's already one of the, the biggest, right? Power BI on the on that magic quadrant is also higher, is higher than um, Tableau. But what you're gonna look at in that quadrant is that, and maybe I can find that quadrant actually. Let's see. Um, Gartner Quadrant um, BI, right? So I'm sure I can find it here. Right, so you can see that Microsoft, actually it's these two, right? There we go. So you can see that Microsoft's higher, but it's kind of a bit, um, it's a weird thing, right? Because in terms of visualization, Tableau is superior. But Microsoft, when it comes to BI, there's a lot of other things that count as BI. Those other tools are fantastic, right? That Microsoft has, that BI, but not the visualization part. I'm only talking about visualization. If you only talk about visualization, Tableau is far superior. And in fact, I would say that Click is far superior to Microsoft, right? When it comes to visualization, Microsoft, I would say, is kind of closer to down here. Um, Oracle, meh. Oh, SAP. SAP should be like down here. So it's freaking terrible. Salesforce has, see, this is the weird thing. Salesforce is in business intelligence. Um, and I kind of understand why, but I wish they would do one purely on visualization. Please let me know if they have. Right? But that's kind of my take on Tableau versus Power BI kind of thing. So there's a lot of considerations to have. Right, So I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed and you know, look forward to the comments on from people who love Power BI. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon.